Good evening, YouTube. Full Circle Review back here again with another review. And I went to, uh... I'm gonna say Walgreens, which means I got the goods. I have Johnny Doodle Milk Sweet and Salty Nuts. Chocolate. In case you didn't know. Because when you heard that milk sweet and salty with the nuts, I'm sure you were thinking something else. Here we have milk chocolate sprinkled with caramelized salted nuts and pretzels. Ingredients 77% milk chocolate sugar cocoa butter dry whole milk cocoa mass. Soy lectin emulsifier natural vanilla flavoring. 23% roasted caramelized nuts and peanuts. Almonds, cashews, peanuts, sugar, salt, glucose syrup, sunflower oil, honey. May contain eggs, wheat, and other tree nuts. I'm just curious, in a chocolate bar facility, what are they doing with eggs? If you go to Johnny Doodle's website, I don't see anything made with eggs. I just find it interesting. Nonetheless, I appreciate them breaking down the percentages because it tells me that they're trying to honestly deliver the value that they're trying to sell. But... We got almonds, cashews, and peanuts. This is going to be a flipping smorgasbord for me. Talk about living out of the Chili's um, dumpster. This is special. Serving size is 30 grams at 170 calories, 5 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of protein. Now remember, if you have ever taken statistics and you know how to present the data that you want this is a protein bar it's double wrapped which I think is pretty cool and there is a happy families information uh, page on the inside let's get things straight Johnny likes it fair and that's where that's why he started the Johnny Doodle Foundation the foundation realizes projects and makes a difference for the cocoa farmers and their families with this money we want to build a school in water holes in Ghana and the families are happy so this is Johnny Doodle at Johnny Doodle. Want to know more? Take a look at www.johnnydoodlefoundation.com. I think this is really nice. Because if you think about just how blessed we are with the resources and the facilities at our fingertips here in the States or comparable countries, in comparison to the people who actually make these products that we buy, you think, well, they're a for-profit company. How in the world could they possibly be benefiting the people who make these products? You have to be able to make a profit to be successful. I mean, think about it. If, if you were a company, and literally you've been in the red for 10 years, how in the world do you expect your community outreach to positively impact anyone? Hey, yeah, we have negative money. We're going to help you this way. So I am so happy to see Johnny Doodle help the cocoa farmers because I am confident. I am confident the people who make my chocolate are being underpaid. I know I'm being underpaid to uh, count the bottles of beer inside of ca containers. So I am confident they are going through hardships, and I feel for them. Because let's face it, I sit behind a desk. They're physically working. They're physically hungry. They're physically in the weather and the elements. Even though Johnny Doodle may not directly impact, or I mean, not directly talk to them, see them as a person, interact with them on a physical or an emotional level, I feel like if their company truly does sponsor them, they could be making a difference. But let's get into this chocolate bar. 
Like I said, I like how it's double wrapped. It gives me an extra layer of protection from all those coughing and sneezing people inside the Walgreens. Sometimes it's a little, little scary, you know. Does the person in front of me have COVID? Does the person behind me have Zika? Does the person beside me, the guy who's licking my arm incessantly, does he have Ebola? Says Johnny Doodle on the front. You see some big chunky nuts in the back. Cause the back's where we want it. Let's get into this. Very thick bar. This is probably the first time I've said this on this channel. I taste the salt. My word. Smooth. Creamy chocolate. Ridiculous amount of nuts. And a salt bite that you get on your tongue and you can't help but keep licking like you're a deer licking a salt lick waiting to be shot. Nuts are crispy. Not hard. Are caramelized and sweet. Honestly, I think a dark chocolate would have been a better platform for this bar. You definitely get sweet and salty. I just wish the cocoa was darker. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Salt comes through so clean. Almost overpowers the chocolate. Chocolate is sweet, not overly sweet. Very fine. High quality. Smooth, creamy, and buttery. Wish the cocoa was stronger. Just needs to be a darker chocolate. The nuts are caramelized, which makes them extra sweet, which is why I think it should be a darker chocolate. Chocolate flavor reminds me a lot of Nesling. It's so crispy. This is hard to stop eating. I'm impressed. Definitely high quality. Wish the cacao was stronger. But that's just a personal thing. I don't really care for milk chocolate. I like dark chocolate. And for some odd reason, white chocolate's growing on me. It's kind of scaring me. But Johnny Doodle says, sweet and salty nut, and sweet and salty nut is what you are getting. There is no lies in this packaging. My word do they deliver. This is flipping spectacular. Now, I have to grade this on a gradient because I prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate. This is most definitely milk chocolate. Milk chocolate has a good flavor. It's just it's not really a strong flavor. All you really get is caramelized nuts and salt. Not a bad thing. I just, I prefer to really taste a robust chocolate. You feel me? 89 out of 100 they could improve by making... I feel like there's so many nuts in this. That not all of them have to be caramelized. You just get that extra sweetness with the milk chocolate 
and you basically just get a sweet, sweet bar. And I feel like dark chocolate would be a better medium for this, but since they're trying to deliver it in milk chocolate, decrease the caramelization, decrease the sugar somewhere. Salt comes through amazing. I flip and love this. Johnny Doodle, teach everyone else how to use salt. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. Please keep it up. Um, I do wish I could taste a more distinct roast flavor in the nuts. It's mainly you get the caramelization and the sugar on the nuts. With the salt, that overpowers any actual flavor aspect of the nut itself because cashew is pretty bland, peanuts are pretty bland, and almonds are pretty bland. So, I understand the issue that you face there. Nonetheless, extremely high quality chocolate, great flavor, smooth, buttery, no waxiness at all. You taste this, you taste like you're eating a $40 bar of chocolate. I would buy this again. If you like uh, like a Mr. Good Bar, this would blow your socks off. If you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, comment down below, and y'all take care.